Breaking news. Anxiety as Supreme Court hears Unamde Kanu's appeal today. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to today's news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The Supreme Court will hear an appeal from the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Onamde Kanu, today, and all eyes will be on the High Court. Regarding his ongoing imprisonment at the Department of State Services, DSS, Kanu has appealed the matter before the highest courts. The Hypop commander filed an appeal with the Supreme Court on November 3rd, 2022, according to the information that was obtained. This comes after the Court of Appeal decided to prevent his release from the custody of the DSS. Kano filed an appeal in response to the Court of Appeal's ruling dated October 28, 2022, which suspended the implementation of its previous judgments, clearing him of all accusations and ordering his release from the secret police custody. IPOP's led counsel, Ifai Ejiofo, in a statement released on Thursday, said Kanu's appeal will be aired on Thursday morning. He expressed optimism that the grace of God would prevail in judgment over today's outing at the Supreme Court. The statement reads, Please be informed, Ezebo Umuchinike, that the Supreme Court of Nigeria will this morning Year the appeal over the continued illegal detention of our indefatigable clients, Onye Dumazi Unamde Kanu. We are very firm in our belief that the Almighty Chuku Okike Abiyama will take absolute control of today's proceedings. We shall keep you all updated on the outcome of the legal fireworks that will ensue in the court today. Thank you all, Ezebo Umu Chineke, and remain blessed. The late counsel to Mazunam Dikano, Ifani Ejiofo, who released a statement saying that the belief that Mazunam Dikano's trial will come to an end today, whereby Mazunam Dikano has gone to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court is ready to hear Unam de Kano's appeal. So the belief that Mazo Unam de Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, would be heard and released. Remember that before now, the court has released Mazo Unam de Kano, acquitted him, and was asked to pay some bill for him. But the federal government decided not to release him, saying that it needs political it, polit, they need to look into some political aspects before it could be released. And this has been the illegal detention of Mazunam Dikan, who was extradited and redemptioned from Kenya to Nigeria. And since then, has been in the detention of the DSS since 2022, June. Whereas, the federal government has filed new fresh grounds to oppose Unam de Kano's release. The federal government, the APS court granted the federal government's request to include the fresh grounds in its amended notice of appeal dated October 28, 2022. The ruling followed an application that was moved by a government lawyer, Mr. Tijani Gatsali-san, who equally sought an adjournment 
to respond to Kanu's requests to be transferred from the detention facility of the Department of State Services, DSS, to the Kuje Correctional Center. Gazali told the Scots that he would need time to file a counter affidavit to oppose Kanu's requests. Consequently, a five-member panel of the Supreme Court, led by Justice Inyang Okoro, adjourned the case to May 11 for definite hearing. In an anonymous, pardon, in in a unanimous decision by a three-member panel, the appellate court equally quashed a 15-count terrorism charge that federal government entered against the detained IPOP leader before the Federal High Court in Abuja, dated October 13, 2022. And now, the Federal Government has put out another new nine grounds to file against Mazunam de Kanu. Specifically, Kanu had applied for an order of the APS courts, striking out and or dismissing the respondent's appeal number for want of diligent persecution. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? The fe- what's your view concerning what the federal government is trying to do again? Meaning that the ones Mazunam de Kano is to, to still be detained in the DSS detention? Or there is more reason to this? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.